All right, so let's watch this in full here. There's no sound, but awesome animation. <laughs> Love that he then runs in an arc. <laughs> All right, <laughs> even that thing closes. Shaboom. Okay. I think that's all very cool. The only thing when I was watching it for the first time, I kind of missed these type of things. Everything else is very clear. Yeah, I think that totally works. It's because I was pickily thinking, what if that's a word, pickily? The arm was out here for clean silhouette, but then we also have a color silhouette. Maybe that index is right there forming a tangent, but it's at the very beginning. It doesn't matter. It's the six to eight frames. You know, we don't really register that much. So by the time we see it around here, I think that should be totally fine. Because this totally registers as a sneak, carefully watching. The only thing I would say, this is a question for you. I don't see this in the email uh, in terms of how uh, you're going to light this. Because my thing is, he's already, if I switch tools here, he's already fairly looking this way, almost kind of looking there, right? And then he kind of looks away, but it's still very much in front of him. And then he has a, a look, but then that look is really high. And then he realizes that. Now, this might be also super picky, but that's my only question then. Are you going to have something where, let's imagine this is illuminating stuff. But even then, that illumination, you know, will go maybe this far. It needs to be something where, if you're going to light this. Again, this is extremely subjective, but I might as well think out loud here and <laughs> tell you what I'm thinking. So when you do this, that if you had light, you know, and then you have maybe other things in here and then they would cast some shadows and but then this would have maybe some something, I don't know if it has diamonds on it or something metally, so that there's suddenly like a cling, like a shine because of this. And that's when he goes, Oh. But then the thing is, I'm looking at this, he's looking around, clearly he should be seeing this. Then he has that reaction. Oh, and I'm so invested in him looking and expecting something along these lines, right? Around here, something here, that now he goes, oh. And by the time I'm going, why did he stop? Always oh, looking down, click, and this fell. I'm like, what? And then I'm seeing this. So this might also just be old man JD not understanding things, which in a way it's great. That's a it's a great audience. If I don't get it then and you make it clear then it's clear for everybody just imagine i'm the worst audience i would still probably bring this arm out a little bit so we're not too close for tangents or just kind of negative space there even here even that's not too bad it doesn't have to be always super clean in front of it because now you're kind of avoiding the twinny aspect but i think it could be cool if you would do <gasps> like a moment of pause instead of <gasps> and keep walking it's almost like <gasps> oh a little bit of pause and then a step <clears throat> but then you would have something bigger maybe this platform is bigger or it breaks like something that we really understand oh because right now that's the only kind of visual thing that we have in terms of something happens so i would just make that event bigger and then he realizes I mean, worst case scenario. I know this is a cool surprise. Worst case, you start having little crumbs and dust and stuff coming down, which could fall down on this and, then, and start some sick little sparks. And goes, what? But that's totally optional. My main thing would be, I think I would give this a moment of, oh, and even if it's like five frames, oh, step, and make that a bigger deal. Then, and then here, I would do the same thing, just a bit bigger. And why not? This is totally subjective, thinking out loud. What if he's doing this? And then as he's looking back, he goes, oh, before this all happened so quickly, you have a moment of where 
either this platform goes down again a bit lower, like almost down to here. So you will go this much lower. Or where is the here? Okay, so we have this and this. So what if now suddenly this platform goes lower? You know what I mean? Where we are can't see it, but you know, like it dips down that much. The whole platform, and you go, uh oh, now something bigger is about to happen. Kaklan, and then it falls. And then he does this. I do love all of this. Like animation-wise, I'm not really worried about anything. You might bring this down lower again for cleaner silhouette. And I love this. I love that the speed is here in an arc. But you might reduce the amount of legs here. I think this is cool scramble-wise. But then he's trying to get there really fast. And I'm, I think that's, to me personally, subjectively, too many legs. I would just go into like a maybe one or two. And maybe here, let's see. Here, and then bring them back here-ish. Personally, I would take the amount here out and here. That could be one more. Then he has this. That's cool. I love all of this here. Like the, the bounciness and the looks, the thought process. Great. Huh? Okay. Okay. Let me test this. Ah, that works. This feels a bit soft. How those hands transition over. All that. I wish there was a bit of a sharper move and a bit of sharper hook. Into, uh, this is something that feels a bit soft there. And then I would almost go maybe here less up in the shoulders so that on here you have more. You have just more range to go. For me, this is the same as this in terms of this area. So a bit more contrast. Then he has that. That's cool. <laughs> I love that as a surprise. I think that's great. Boom. These fall nice and heavy. There are gold bars. His impact here. You could have his eyeballs still here. And then stretch and then slap back in his face. And then as he falls here, you might have... You're starting to, but I think here we can have them a bit higher. Really cross eye rolling back in his head. He almost seems... I still register like the full normal face until the end. Timing's great of the, the torch as well. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. The fingers are great. The details. Again, for here, just being picky. Little tangent there, you might as well bring that out a bit. So it's not just this, like you have a tangent right there too. So it could be that lower, you know, it could be maybe it lowers to here and then here. So we have the elbow right there, and then this is clean. This, I mean, there is fire. I know I'm getting in, this is like the pickiest review ever, but he has fire here, and then the fire would stay up straight. And then it's kind of behind him. Was it start burning his hand, maybe? Hold on, let me just think about something. No, that doesn't work. Sorry, I was thinking in my head, what if he goes, oh, puts the torch in his mouth. Out here. So then he can hold, hold, hold. It's still here. And then it's here. But then he goes, oh. Then it would fall, and then he would have to quickly grab it. I think that adds too much of a new thing in a story point. Because then you know, it would land in here. That would be kind of stupid, and then you don't have that. Nah, forget about it. That's just a weird, picky thing. Or maybe you come up with a good idea, something. Or maybe just we still have it visible here, and it would have a nice lighting. But that's mostly that. And again, if I'm picky, it's almost like I wish the knees were... Like, this was just a bit further back. That's What is this leg? <laughs> you know, where we are freeing the hands in terms of the look. Again, this is a bit close here. But then, would he be too far away? I mean, it would have a nice forward lean. And then, when he does this, it's maybe so strong that then he, he is up on one leg. And then plops down with the other leg to then land in this. So we're not so IK legs now. And now they're stuck. See how they're stuck throughout the whole thing? Except that little foot roll. 
and even this has a bit of a tangent so even if you leave them here maybe that foot could be further out here i know this is like the picky picky slash tangent review and even here it's almost a bummer that it's aligned so bring one up bring one lower into this anyway picky stuff mostly because it's really well animated and the awesome thing about this is that i remember when you were at the academy class with me years ago i mean you were already good but it's it's so great to see how you've progressed and just how much of an awesome animator you are i mean you're already great but this is it's getting so much better and better it's so great to see anyway i'll leave it at that and uh yeah let me know if you have any questions thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.